Hello everyone. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Hope you guys are doing well. I am also doing well. Today I will talk about Amazon DLM, like a data lifecycle manager, how we, we can take the backup like uh, by using scheduling kind of thing. We'll take that uh, automatically. We'll take the backup of the particular EBS volume. And for that, let's guys move on to the AWS console. I will show you like how we can schedule those uh, DLM. OK, so before that, let me give you a little bit highlight about what the DLM and how it was working basically in backend. So mm -hmm. DLM is basically data lifecycle management. The full form is that and basically it will work like a data like a, whenever you are uh, creating any EBS volume right? and, and that EBS volume basically we used to attach to that particular issue to instance and if you would like to take the backup in the regular interval right so then by using DLM we can take the backup and another approach we can take the backup like we can create a serverless architecture like a lambda and by using that also we can take backup but in AWS it's a uh, default features like uh, you can take utilize these features without uh, like creating any lambda or without managing your code right you no need to manage any code uh, this if you set this policy then this policy will take care of your backup so that whenever any disaster is thing is happen or if you want anything happen right your data so that you can take always this data as a backup and it will be in the regular interval and here you can specify like how many uh, snapshot you would like to take, like how many backup copy basically you want to maintain in that AWS, right? And how many day you want to keep this data backup, old backup, those returns and policy also we can specify. And this DLM basically it is work by using that uh, tag value, like key value sphere, basically tag based on the tag only it will work. And there are snapshot, EVS backup, AMI, and tag resource. These are the attributes there. And then if you are specified any of the tag right in that particular EBS volume, right, then the by using that tag, it will take and it will be create that uh, snapshot for you. Okay. And there could be some limitation also, like uh, you can specify it like only maximum 45 tag and each and every region, only 100 uh, uh, policy you can specify it, not more than that. Okay. So guys, let's move on to the AWS console. So I am in the Virginia region. Okay. I have already logged in here. And let's go to the IC2. And in this session, I will show you like how we can check the logs, right? Like how we can troubleshoot, like what it is happening. Is it really taking backup or not? Like uh, by using CloudWatch and then how we can monitor basically. So that also I will show you. Okay. So in that elastic block storage, in my previous video, I have already demonstrated like how about this EBS elastic block storage, how we can attach to a particular issue to instance, detach everything, right? So if you guys not yet have a look, please take a look. I will give that link to this video description. Okay. So already I have created on EBS volume here. So in this EBS volume, I have already specified one tag. This is the tag. And then let's go to the lifecycle management. Here I have already one created lifecycle management. Why? Because because uh, this uh, whenever we are creating lifecycle management, right? It will uh, execute a minimum one hour. We have to specify. So I will show you that this is really working or not. So that uh, that's why before uh, doing this session, I have created one. And then for this particular, I already that uh, snapshot is creating or not. That I want to show you. That's why I created. Okay. So let's show you how we can create. So click on create policy here we have schedule type right we have different type of policy like EBS snapshot and EBS backend AMI like if you have AMI and that AMI is multiple EC2 instances uh, creating right so in that purpose and cross account right this is also like if you have multiple account right and that purpose also we can do okay so today demo I will show you like EBS snapshot policy okay let's move on to that here like a uh, target type right target like i said right based on tag value it will specify right so either it's a volume or maybe it's an instance so you can either you can select anyone and then we have to specify the tag like that i was talking about only 45 is the limit so here it is mentioning that so here we can specify it like uh, something kind of name okay and specify it, suppose cloud tech, something like that and click on add okay and then description maybe like that i am giving or maybe to generalize that dlm okay and this is the im role right 
So based on this rule only, it will uh, your that uh, DLM will trigger, right? So either if you have like, let me show you one sample like I am role, how it will be look. So this is the sample like uh, what all action you want create, delete, describe, what all thing you want to do, right? And these are the thing and these are the things snapshot. So like this, it will be rules. So in my previous video, I already talked about that uh, I am. So if you guys not yet watch like how we can attach this kind of custom role. So please have a look and in this session, let's move on to that default. Select one default, so default role it will create for you. OK, and if you see here, right, so this is the hot I showed you just now, right? Similar kind of, but some more extra. If you don't want, you can remove like you can copy this. JSON, this is a JSON format, right? And you can copy and you can modify according your need or based on your requirement. OK. Like this, same thing I have already here uh, on custom I created. So here some of the attribute is not there. OK, so. Let's me for you guys. Let's go to the default. OK. And tag you can give like. Uh, something like that. Some tag you can give. And multiple you can multiple tag you can add and this is the policy enable. Okay, let's click on next. And here the scheduler name you can specify the scheduler scheduler name as per your needed. Okay. Schedule, OK. Something like that. And here is the frequency, right? How you want to do like it's here. There are multiple options daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or maybe you can specify the cron tab. OK, in my previous video, I already talked about this cron tab, so you can specify it like uh, how you can use the cron and how the syntax. All right, let me quickly show you or I will give that video link to this description video description. You can take a look. So this is the cron. So if you click here, right? Cron scheduling. This is the. Place you can check here like this is the table, like all the details and uh, syntax will be like this cron then field value. And if you see right, if you want every 15 minutes your corn should run, then this is the thing. And if uh, like uh, every 10 minutes Monday through Friday, then this is the ground. And every five minutes Monday to Friday, like this syntax, right? And these all are the UTC format, not our uh, IST format. Okay. So, yeah, but here one more thing keep in mind in the DLM, right? You have to specify minimum one hour. You cannot give like five minutes or 15 minutes. Let me show you that here. like. Uh, Uh, suppose uh, 10 minutes, every 10 minutes, OK? Something like that. And this is the retention count. Either it's the age you can specify or how many you want, like uh, how many snapshot backup basically you want to take. You can specify that. So here if you select count, then maybe you want like 30 count, last 30 count, uh, 30 snapshot you want to keep, right? So you can specify that or maybe you want uh, 10, then you can specify 10, OK? Like this and then tag, this is like all are optional and if you want, you can select copy tag whenever you are creating the snapshot, right? If you want like same tag, whatever tag we are giving here, if you want to same tag should be there in the snapshot, you can just select this one. It will automatically take those name and if you want on top of that any additional tag name you can add and if you want to snapshot that archive also then you can do that and these are other options like cross region snapshot like uh, if you want multiple region snapshot right so now i am in that uh, us uh, uh, this is the virginia region right us east one right so if you want cross region then you can enable and you can specify multiple region here so I will not do all this thing. It will be, I will keep it as default. And if you have multiple account, you would like to share this snapshot, right? Then you can specify that enable here and you can give that account name, account details basically. OK, so like this, we can do this all set set up. So I don't want to do now this thing. OK, uh, now. This is done. This is done now. This will give some error. 
Why? Because because it's a minimum one hour is required, right? So that's great. See, I got the error like the following pattern is invalid. The scheduling, the scheduling minimum is one hour, right? So we have to specify minimum one hour. So let's modify here. Suppose let me give like uh, one hour, right? So let me give here. Suppose. Uh, something like that. OK. Or we specify. I have one sample here. 745 right? so take this time. Actually, to uh, what this syntax, right? Syntax, right? If you want, if you forget, you can take this uh, table for your syntax password, or maybe you can search here, like a uh, uh, expression, right? If you click on Google, like uh, here you can get all this, uh, all the cron expression details, right? In the Google, you can get all these things, so you can validate those also. Okay, guys. So let's move on to that. So let's keep them now with you. Seven forty five UTC it will create. OK, so this is the policy I gave. Let me give some name. Something like that, OK. So now this is enabled, right? So now question is how we can uh, in, in like a debug, right? So what it is happening is really taking the backup or not, how we can monitor, right? So there are two options. One is direct, directly you can click on monitor here and you can see like uh, all the metrics you can able to see here. OK, and other option is like you can directly go to the cloud watch and you can uh, you can check that. So let me show you that too also. I'll go to the cloud watch. All metrics. Okay. The multiple options, billing, logs, these are the right. Go to the EBS. Okay. And go to the data lifecycle management, right? So here it will come like this, all the details, uh, and it will be displayed here. OK, so let me show you uh, what now we created, right? This will take time to take the backup, right? But to show you guys like this is really working or not. So I have created one more like uh, before this demo. So let me show you that. So this is the. One, this one I created, so let's drag this one and now go to the cloud watch. See, this is the trigger. One sometime, one time failed, some issue was there. Then create completed. Right? If you click here, right? if you just select this one, and then here data will display. And uh, this count I mentioned there, how much count, right? So better you can specify the number, so that you can get to know they, that uh, how much snapshot is created. So I specified only one snapshot, so it is created one. If you go to the failed one, right? So nothing is created, right? There it will display zero zero right something is happened right so that's why so like this we can create and let and whatever snapshot is created right how we can check that if you click on here right uh, go to the snapshot section let me take you here here you can see the snapshot is created right 
the policy name of the thing it will be specified here. See, our snapshot is uh, whatever policy right uh, is there. Right? So let me show you that. This is the policy ID, right? For the whatever we created, right? So let's go to here. Search. So this is the policy and if you click here, the scheduler name one, right? And if you search here, this is the policy and the seed. This is the description, whatever description we gave, right? That description will come here, right? So this description basically nothing but let me show you that. So go to the modification option and if you come here, right? I gave the name is a scheduler one, right? So same name it is uh, display here in the snapshot. Okay, and this is the policy ID, whatever policy I have created. So each and every policy will give one ID. So that's the policy ID. Okay, guys. So like this, we can manage our DLM and uh, by using CloudWatch and uh, the snapshot, uh, the DLM policy monitoring tool, we can monitor that uh, what it is happening to that particular policy. Okay. I hope this session will helpful to you guys. And if you like this session, please do subscribe and like and share with your friend to support my channel and I hope this session will helpful really to guys and we'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Chalo, bye. See you.